My name is Paul Karnamola. I'm the Head of Information and one of the Physics teachers at St Catherine's School in Sydney. Physics is often perceived as one of the more challenging courses taught at school. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate some of the strategies that we're using at St Catherine's to make it easier for students to experience success. Physics is the study of the world around us. One of the reasons that students have difficulties is that they come to the classroom with preformed beliefs about how the world works, based on observations that they've made through their lives. Students will often bring into the classroom many incorrect beliefs about physics. Educational research has shown that these beliefs are unlikely to be changed by traditional methods of teaching. One method that we're using to change these incorrect beliefs is the interactive lecture demonstration technique, which was created by David Sokoloff from the University of Oregon and Ronald Thornton from Tufts University, which is also in Oregon. The interactive lecture demonstrations consist of a series of teacher-delivered demonstrations. Each demonstration is quite simple. Examples include moving carts along tracks, objects thrown in the air, and the teacher or student walking in front of a motion sensor. In each case, the demonstration is recorded and displayed in real time using data loggers. A key difference with this approach is that the demonstration is shown first without the data loggers activated, and then students are asked to make a prediction, normally by sketching a graph. Students are then invited to challenge other student predictions and defend their own. It is this discussion that is critical in the success of this approach. The technique works because students are forced to articulate their beliefs and are then confronted with real data displayed in real time. Another reason that students have difficulty with physics is the abstract nature of describing physical behaviour with what seems to be another language. Things like graphs, equations, etc. To assist students to make meanings of graphs, we give the students a series of displacement and velocity graphs and ask them to act out the motion by moving their hand. Students first place an object on the desk to indicate the origin. They then decide on a sign convention, that is which direction will be the positive direction and which direction will be the negative direction. In this example, positive will be to your right and negative to your left. The graph tells us that the object starts some distance in the positive direction from the origin. It then moves at a constant speed for a time, stops, and then finally moves back towards the origin at high speed first and then slowing down until it stops. Students then describe the motion in words and draw the corresponding velocity time graph. Acting out the motion whilst thinking about the motion in terms of physical models allows students to make the connections that are essential for deep learning. The flipped learning approach has also been successfully employed in our physics classrooms. In the traditional approach to teaching, new content is presented to students in the classroom once and once only, and then students are asked to apply that knowledge for homework when isolated from the teacher and other students. The flipped approach reverses this. Students are provided with new content through a video or online tutorial, which they view at home. All students learn at different rates and presenting new content in this way enables students to review the content as many times as they would like. The tasks requiring application of this new content into a new context, traditionally given as homework, are then completed in class. This is when the students have access to the teacher and other students for assistance. This approach enabled us to complete more challenging tasks, such as the Tutorials in Introductory Physics Forces task, which was constructed 
by the research team at the University of Washington. And this was a far more difficult task than could possibly have been set for homework. Hopefully this video has given you a short introduction to our physics classroom. In seeking to improve learning outcomes for all students, we will continue to use research-based methods such as those demonstrated in this video.